Hello there, everybody. My name is Jerry Joe, and welcome to the game Remothered Tormented Fathers. This is a Steam game. I don't know how long ago it came out. Uh, someone in the comments of the last video suggested it. Thank you very much. I read some reviews on it. It says that it has like a clock tower feel. Now, I've never played clock tower, but I know of clock tower, and I know that it's a, it's a trial and error game, pretty much, where <laughs> just the most absurd things can happen. But I am genuinely excited about that. So now that being... Oh. Is it all true? I don't know. What have you heard already? Oh, no. That Mother. Means, it thickened the bones. It accelerated the healing process and tissue regeneration. Is that all true? Every word. Oh, Mother. But if that's what it was doing, why call it an illness? The Lepidopterans made a nest out of the human body, where they could eat and multiply. Oh. An illness is what it is. But then? Where do you want me to start? I don't know. From the beginning. I guess from the beginning. <laughs> uh, I'm old, Mr. Manny. My memory is not one of my strong points. You don't have a well, diary? For example, why do they call you Madame Svenska? A name is just a trace. It is our business card, our identifier. It presents us to the world. But does it tell our story or really describe who we are? I swear I know three or four idiots with the same exact name. <laughs> Madam well, Svenska. Yes. <laughs> but we are not made of that name. It is given to us. Other people choose it for us, whether it suits us or not. It doesn't tell us who we really are. That name will not give us any answers. You tell him, Svenska. It is only through growing old that we become the answer to the questions of our childhood. She is very deep. And living in Sweden the last 30 years has definitely inspired this affectionate moniker. Mm. And so, Madam Svenska, it is. And yet you come back to Italy. Why? I tried to time it, but he, he had a long pause. I forgot. You forgot about but Italy? <laughs> I also forgot that I had promised to remember. Madam Svenska. Oh. Mm, my heart. Please excuse me. Sometimes my memory needs to be jogged. There's always been a song that, oh, okay. as well as the name you refer to so much, has labeled my whole life. Has given it a name. I thought she was just going to take out some drugs. <laughs> you can't believe how bizarre and sometimes unbelievable my confused memories are to describe that all this began. Well, this game seems weird already. <laughs> it seems super weird. Goodbye. Celeste Belton. I don't know if this song's copyrighted. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll, uh, I'll put another song in at this moment, but the, the, the one that you heard before that cut, that, that's what it sounds like. That's, that's the jog in memory. I'll search to see if it's actually copyright or not first, and then if it is, I'll replace the song. But it's, it's starting out like a movie, so that's kind of cool. It sounds kind of like a James Bondy type song. If it's not playing... I'll, I'll link in the description or something. You can go listen to it there. I don't know. Oh! Madam Svenska, you shouldn't smoke. Come on. Jeez, you're bad for your lung. Madam Svenska, you inhaled that. Oh, you didn't even blow the smoke. Oh, you're just still going at it. Oh, man. There you go, finally. Held that in. Of course. Okay, so we're like a private investigator is what it looks like? Or is that us? And that's not Madame Svenska. But that kind of looks like her, so I think that's her. I don't know. Either she farted or she zipped something up. <laughs> My guess is the first one. Or she zipped her purse up. Okay, you got me. It's a bag. Svenska! Put the sink down! Oh yeah, her rain. How are you gonna smoke in the rain, Svenska? Huh? 
Was her daughter taken? Damn. That, uh... That escalated quick. <laughs> Dang it. I wanted to be like a villain clapping. Where are we? Is this Sweden? Is this Sweden? Feels like it's gonna rain again. Feels like it. Reach the residence of Dr. Felton. Dr. Manuel Felton. Lost child Celeste Felton. Oh. Okay, so that's who I'm looking for. The Felton's daughter. White dress with bows, white shoe, and tressed hair. What does that mean? Someone in the comments tell me what that means. What is tressed hair? Is that just curly? I don't think that this is the correct way to the Feltons. Ooh, hi, but what is this? Shears. Cut here, cut there, shears. <laughs> very, very good movie name. An even better plot line. Cut here, cut there. Wow, her stamina really does not run out. Okay, I guess, I guess this way is the correct proper way. Okay, I'll give you a break, old lady cheese. Okay, okay. You can, seriously. Svenska, you can calm it down. I know that you're out of breath, but you don't need it. I always feel anxious when looking at some icons. Icons and mirrors. Oh, jeez. Richard Felton, what did I say? Manuel, I think. Not close whatsoever, but still, good guess, I guess. Where are you, Richard? Who is this? Yes, hello. I'm Dr. Reed from the Santa Margarita Institute. I'm sorry, but Mr. Felton is no longer a patient. I know. How did you know? This is why I'm here. Hello? Uh, anyone? How did you know who I was looking for? Huh? Oh, I'll find Richard Dick Felton if I if it's the last thing that I do. Maybe you should lock your gate. I guess they don't really care. Oh, I thought that was someone just standing right there. I'm like, this is the time to leave. Most likely already. Get inside the mansion to meet Dr. Felton. But he doesn't live there. You were just told. Excuse me. I will burn all your plants down if you do not let me in. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello? Uh, uh, the gig was uh, open. Are you there? <laughs> Hello? Anyone there? <laughs> the gate was open. Even though you told me to go away, I felt that it was my duty to enter this restricted area and just come inside. <laughs> she just keeps going. She can go out of breath, but she just keeps going. May does it like make you go slower? I'm not really sure. Looks like she's running the same speed. She just doesn't mind that she's out of breath. She's like, whatever, I'll keep running if I have. This is a person that I would like to play in most games. She knows she's out of breath, but she has to keep running. So she's like, oh man, screw it. I'm going to keep running. That's the type of person that I want to see in video games. It's not often that you see that. Hello, I tried the back door. Wasn't let in there, but maybe the front door. Well, is this the front door technically? I don't know. It doesn't look like a front door, that's for sure. Do you have a key? Oh man, that fart. Hey! Oh, Svenska. Oh wait, her name's Reed at this point? Is this before she was born? Yes. Good evening, I Miss am- Reed, you already told me at the intercom, and as I already told you, Mr. Felton is no longer a patient at the center of the I Institute. Know. I came here voluntarily. Outside the Institute. So what do you want? I am personally re-examining your case. Oh. Causes, reagents. I strongly believe there are alternative ways and probably other experiments that are worth a try. I am fighting with the Institute to recognize there are other adequate remedies for your husband's oh, pathology. Oh, no, please. I I'm just assisting him. I'm his nurse. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. I suppose you want to talk to him. Oh, now you let me in. Thank you. Ah. I apologize for the darkness, but Mr. Felton's sight has been damaged and immensely compromised because of the disease. Anyway, I am Gloria. Hi, Gloria. Oh, please, How about you just turn on some lights? Refrain from smoking inside. 
Mr. Felton hates the smell of smoke. Sorry. Yeah. You better be sorry. Reed. Okay, first of all, if his sight is damaged, Please, why don't we way. just turn on lights? <laughs> I mean, the sight's already yeah, damaged, it's... right? Smoking? Yes, such a shame. You should quit. You have no idea how bad this is for you. Is she Not smoking right health, now? It's also very expensive. Money and time wasted. I have so much to do every day. I couldn't waste time with such a bad habit. Dang. Bad you habit. Mr. Felton all day? Oh, no. From midday to 8 p.m. Then I go back home. I live near here. Mm -hmm. If needed, he can contact me with a pager, but that's not often. His wife takes care of him when I'm off. Okay. What can you tell me about her? Yeah, I yeah. I met her just a couple of times. She's usually out or locked in her bedroom when I'm here. Let's say they don't seem to get along. But can you stop know. walking forward without but, me? You know, when she's home, she listens to the same music. The same song. Hey! Over and over. <laughs> You can at least wait if you're going to try to lecture me walking upstairs. Ooh. Where are we go? Are you cheating with him? Huh? Huh? You make it, you, while the wife's not here, you give him a little... You give him a little something, something that glory of goods? Huh? I think, I think I already solved the case. Although I'm pretty sure it's about a missing daughter, not... This way, please. Dirty happening. <laughs> Mr. Felton will be here in a few minutes. He's not in here already? Okay. Why isn't he here already? His, where's he wandering off to with his bad sight? Mr. Felton, you should really just be, be put in your room. We'll help you. What is she looking for? So, from what it seems, lost daughter, we... Worked on the... I cannot do it now. Okay. Whatever you say. We we worked on this case with the Institute. Um. Oh. Mr. and Mrs. Felton's farm, Rosa Gallo, closes danger of contamination. Wyman and the Feltons indicated for alleged criminal activity against consumers and production em employees. October 2nd, 1971, the Rosa Gallo farm, Pride of the Gallows, has been... Are closed due to suspected contamination has been reported that many products have been infected by toxic pollen that could be the cause of severe para parasitosis. The owner, Ariana Gallo, top right, her husband, the notary, Richard Felton, that's son of a bitch, bottom right, professor and company's partner, Albert Elias Wyman, large picture, I see him. Are under investigation. The latter has been allegedly accused by Felton himself of having used the company to carry out pharmaceutical experiments. He took advantage of corporate funds. Um, oh man, painful ulcers, vomiting, proliferation, parasites, and in some cases, keratosis photosensitivity. Okay, uh, both the Feltons and Ashmans received numerous threats from Wyman himself, who have been who has been removed from the Order of Physicians today. He shocked. He was shocked by the charges and pointed his fingers to the former business partner Richard Felton. He personally funded me. Felton himself, like his father, promoted and funded the Phenoxyl Project, a drug for which Wyman himself was nominated for the prestigious Medicine Award in 1957. Uh, retired from the market, was used location of project product distribution from his house. Uh, yeah. Okay. Authorities assume that the contamination has developed from the groundwater, not only used for the irrigation of nearby plantations, but also as a common source for the Ashmans and the Twelve Sisters of the nearby monastery. Oops. Oh, see the other side. Oh my goodness. You damn son of a bitch! See what they write about me on the news? You wanted to tarnish me, but I'll get back at you. Oh, surely I will. Starting with your dot. Well, that seems like he just admitted the crime. <laughs> case closed we solved it boys pack it up do you believe she doesn't know who her father is i'm sure he would be glad to know that she is his daughter show you've got balls take your own responsibilities what am i saying balls you never got balls he likes balls <laughs> he likes the word balls we have figured out a hi Oh, yeah, yeah. Hi. Those are demons coming from the sky. 
Which is kind of weird the demons are coming. Why are they coming from the sky? Thank God, miss. Do you? Well, it would be too easy, wouldn't it? I believe in people's willpower. Yeah. Everything else is not God, mm. but an aptitude or mankind's cruelty. This is yeah. the kind of fairy tale I prefer at my age. Mm. When you're worn out from an incurable disease, you start having some doubts. Why is there so much life in such small but lethal creatures? Mm -hmm. An arbiter, that's all we need. For what? It's wrong and crazy. It's human nature. That human same nature. nature in which we are equals to those ants eating each other. But pardon me, I forgot my manners. Please sit down. You did. You really did. Dr. Reed, I suppose. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Felton. Pleased to meet you. So you already met Gloria? Yes, she this let me in. She's pretty a great, great reference, extremely hardworking, but back to us. <laughs> I don't recall seeing beautiful doctors like you at the Institute, Dr. Reed. I am flattered, Mr. Felton. I arrived at the Institute uh. just a few months after you left. Oh, okay. And you left because? Inadequacy of the sanitary treatments within the structure. That's right. And in a few words? In a few words. They didn't know how to treat my case, and they left me there to die. But it seems that other issues took over. I once or twice refused to go through exams. Mr. Okay. Is there anything I can do for you? Gloria! Gloria. Yes, see if Dr. Reed needs anything. Oh, no. May I offer you a cup of tea or a coffee? Espresso? No, thank Gloria, you. How As dare you, you walk in on us? How about you, Mr. Felton? You're diagnosed? 1958? Yes, indicatively. Some friends and I contracted the disease while traveling to Egypt, and it got worse. In addition to the disease, the first exam showed some inconsistency. Some hormonal deficiency? Overdose I guess. of non-prescribed drugs, opiates? Phenoxyl? Wasn't it recalled in the mid-60s? Doctor, don't you think that nowadays there are ways to obtain drugs without any prescription? This guy's, I believe this guy's so. hardcore. Mm, According to your yes. file, you still receive your disability pension. Even better, Don't pick it your seems that the beneficiary is your wife, Ariana Gallo. Exactly. She's the one who takes care of me when Gloria is off. How about your daughter? My daughter? Celeste has never come back home. Disappeared. She was adopted, am I right? Mm. The investigators mm. confirmed that she intentionally left. They okay. never suspected a kidnapping since there was no ransom request. How about Weeman? Wasn't he a suspect? <sighs> a flash in the pan, an idiot who brought confusion by sending warnings and threats. And her birth parents? Dr. Reed, young girls often decide to just go. And this is what my daughter decided to do with- Jennifer. What did you say? At times, Jennifer. you'd call her Jennifer. No. <sighs> My Mr. Daughter. Felton, what has really happened to your daughter? I just told you. How about the off-the-record version? I am not sure where you're trying to go with this, but I won't tolerate... I don't have the tolerance. tolerance now. I know you've been trying to forget her, but this picture might help you to... To forget her? What <laughs> is this? Where did you get this picture? Isn't she your daughter? Celeste, or has you called her? Jennifer? I asked you a question. Back of the picture says Jennifer. There is no Jennifer! You thought I was Mark stupid, Hamill, didn't you, you, Mr. Felton? You thought I was stupid. Do you really think I'd come here without knowing what I'm Who talking are about? You? And why did you come here? Did you come to my home to threaten me with your condescending Threatening tone? you? So maybe I should ask your wife then. She's not home. Seems like she is. Mr. Felton, I just talked to the director of the Institute on the phone. They have never heard of Dr. Reed. She is not what she claims to be. Well, Gloria, Miss you didn't give me you didn't give me your tea. Your <laughs> you didn't give me your the tea. Time here has ended. Please leave my property. Miss Gloria will escort you out. Please follow me. Mr. Felton, please tell me what you did to your daughter. Good evening. Follow me. Gloria is the daughter. She was put to work to care for her father and changed her name to Gloria because she liked it better. No. What just what just happened? <laughs> you know the way. Oh yeah, thanks. How do you even How do you even How do I do what? How do you even sleep at night? You use people's lives regardless of the pain you cause. No. The Feltons have been through a lot. I'm sure they have. 
And they are good people. Gloria, a young girl disappeared. We all know the story, unfortunately. A burden that the Feltons will have to carry for the rest of their lives. Celeste just left them. That's what they that all the say. Case. There was a motivation behind it. And it threatened her life. Okay. Bye, Gloria. Was she just closing her eyes that whole time? She didn't even want to look at me. She was like, bye, bitch. <gasps> so sad. Looks like they're speed walking. Is that Mr. Felton? Okay, is that Glor- No, that is Mr. Felton, isn't it? No, that's Gloria. Gloria, what are you doing? Are we stalking Gloria? There was a secret back there. So she put the keys there is what it looks like. Gloria, where are you going? You messy baby. Did I seriously just wait here this whole time? Guess I'm determined to talk to the wife. Go, go, go. Get those keys. Make sure Gloria can't get back in. Grab him. Oh, my God. Oh, it's just one? How did it make a clinging sound, then? <laughs> it's like keys hitting each other, that clinging sound. But no, it was just one key. So I'm back in. Oh, she left for the net. Okay, that's what I'm thinking, at least. He may be blind, but he ain't deaf. Keep the noise down. Oh my goodness. Dr. Reed. How, okay, sure. Why does she listen to that? She's slapping it like about 11 p.m. or something. She's slapping her record player. Yes, I would like to save my game. Where am I supposed to be going? Investigate the disappearance of Celeste. Oh. I picked up a defense item. What? Do I need it? Are people going to start attacking me? What's going on in this house? This is a power generator. Better not turn off the lights. No, turn on the lights. That's what you want. Oh my gosh. So it's like I have to hide from people? This is going to be awesome. This is actually kind of cool. I wonder if he actually starts like walking around or something this is actually kind of cool nothing you just open that cuz okay i wish once you like cleared out an area it would just uh let you not open it again so the door's closed from the other side i didn't i didn't know that it could only be closed from one side maybe locked but closed that's pretty intense okay i've got a defense item which is good but I remember reading one of the reviews and they said that this is not a game that will spoon feed a story to you. Seems like it's blocked on another floor. Like you actually have to search to figure out this story. Are they in each other's rooms? Are they snuggling? Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, is the wife dead? I just have this feeling. She's already dead. Gloria doesn't tell us about it. She knows that she did. Yeah, she's been dead for a while there. I knew. It. Yeah. They they fight. That's gross. That's gross. Cockroach? Was there a cockroach on the, on the record player? He's coming. You should hide. You should probably hide. Don't be under the bed. Please don't be under the bed. 
some shows that I watched uh, someone was dead in the house and they just left him there like what no they're gonna need bugs my dear. the record player got jammed again right yes I know you you keep on telling me we need to buy the new gadgets on the market promise 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 yeah so he's insane how can I say no to you Just lick her? <laughs> Ugh. You weirdo. That's was a little bit weird. He licked her right in the face. Pretty was he licking up one of those moths, cockroaches? I'm not really sure. But at this point I'd be like, I need to get the fuck up out of here. Try to escape from the mansion. Yeah, try. That's a good word. But oh my god, I would be so out. Mr. and Mrs. Felton in their happiest day of their life. They both smile, they look happy, but Richard's pale eyes are making me feel uneasy. Yeah, maybe because you, you know that he fucking murdered her now, so there's that. I got a defense tool, dude. I also got a distraction tool. You just want to sleep. That's, that's understandable, sir. Oh, man. Oh gosh, this is already unnerving. If he doesn't like bright lights, why don't I just turn all the lights on? Noisy little. I can't take any more. Shut up! Shut up! He's like right there. Come on! <laughs> Not that funny. booty. Not funny for what? Who? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Smaller circle, stay in the bigger one, please. I need to take my pills. Yeah, you do, Joker. <laughs> I don't know where this dude is. And it's making me uneasy. Oh gosh. He is not over here. So that's a good sign. So tired of all of this. Why are you tired, man? Go to bed then. Okay, I think he's upstairs. If I, Because I hear footsteps, I'm pretty sure he's upstairs. But where was the door out of here? I forget now. Oh, wait, I'm upstairs. I gotta go downstairs. Oh, shit. I forgot. Going downstairs just a little. Just a little. Where is he? It's out of here. Yeah. Where did I put the damn pills? I don't know, man, but you should go upstairs. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. He's right behind me. He is right behind me. I've got a defensive item, man. No! Hit him! Hit him! Nope, nope. Now! I have a defensive item, sir. Hey! Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> Bleeding a little, but you know what? That's part of the, that's part of the process sometimes. Now I have to run. What about my defensive shit? What about my defensive stuff? Oh, okay. Eh. Let go! Let go! Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God. Why does he get to be so quick? What is this? This must be his gown. What did I just grab? I grabbed some. Ground floor corridor key. Okay. Well, that's good. I did not know that that was there, so I guess it's good that I died. A little. Oh god. So you like <laughs> Okay, okay, sir. You sir. Hey! I am not. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go now. Excuse me. Stop, you 
stupid bitch! Hey! Watch your language, sir. I am getting out of here. And I'll there is nothing. Your own tongue. That is terrifying. I'm out, man. Oh, you God. Not now, I have to run. Where do you go after he catches you? Or locks onto you? That's what I want to find out. I have a defensive tool, but I have no clue how to freaking use it. So do I just keep running? Well, I'm pretty sure that you should have a heart attack soon. Okay, so... I lost him. Not now. Dang it! You're a quick old man! No, that's not okay. He's a quick old man. I gotta get out of here. Oh, perfect. He didn't see crap. Oh, thank God. I lost him. Finally. How do you use defensive items? Okay, so I found a key to the first door corridor, which is where I should go. How do I heal? Can I heal? I'm pretty bloody. Upgrade my def... Oh, my goodness. He's <laughs> coming right back up, isn't he? Oh my goodness. Nothing left to eat. I mean, it's all molded. Maybe you should go to the store. Damn it, Gloria. You didn't go to the store for old man Joe. Are there health kits or something? Because she's not doing too well. She probably needs like three of them at this point. Oh gosh. My defensive weapon doesn't really do that well, does it? Let's just hide in the closet. Let's just hide in the closet. It's okay. Oh my goodness. He's just... Yeah, you need to get out of here. I know. I'm trying my best. Darcy. What was her name? He hasn't been making noise recently. Oh my Jesus. I got a flashlight, old man. Blind him. Blind him. Eh. Okay. Oh, it's the, it's the other. I have been pressing... The wrong mouse button both times. I was wondering why it wouldn't even like go up a little, and I've been pressing the wrong mouse button. <laughs> Wait a second. No, I got a first floor corridor key, not a second floor corridor key, because this is the second floor, is what I'm thinking. Let's just test it. Oh no, might as well test it. But I'm assuming that that's when we start unlocking puzzle things, is with. Oh, but this is open. Okay. That's good, at least. What is this place? Okay, that's something to throw. No, right, man, I need some key items to help me get out of this place. That's something to throw. Give me a puzzle piece. Ooh. Maybe I might be able to turn on the projector if only I could find a battery and a film. Dr. Felton. I do not think I have the strength or courage to keep up with the story. Therapy is not bringing you anywhere, and what has happened today is something very serious. I've got rid of the film. Reviewing your session of mesmerization can only hurt your mental health, and I wish it would never end up in the wrong hands. Don't try to take it back. I've thrown it in the oven. I've also replaced the battery of the new pendulum clock. <laughs> we don't need the projector anymore. Take care of yourself, Gloria. So Gloria's been doing Who's his dirty work. Around in my house? Not me. Was it me? I guess it was me. No, 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 no. Okay, grab whatever it is. Yep, okay. Gotta put it down a little. Gotta put it down. Put it down, dum-dum. You gotta hide. I don't know where the hell he is. It seems like he's trying to make his way up here. Okay. You've got to go. You've got to go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Hey, man. What are you doing? Oh, jeez. So he couldn't see me behind the desk. Yep, it's me. Just a little over time. Not a lot. Oh, man. I was thinking maybe I should close the door. And then I thought that I'd close myself and... That is not true, because you just kill me if you hit me enough. 
Yeah, I'm s where did you expect me to go, old man? Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, man. Okay. You what? Who's there? <laughs> you what? Who's there? I actually did the voice acting, thank you. No, I'm kidding, I wish. <laughs> I would do that exact voice, too. Who's there? I'd try to do the Joker. I'm what is that gonna do? You can't open it? Okay. Go to bed. Simple solution. Okay, well, the main way to dodge him... Oh, no. Don't do it. Don't do it, old man. God damn it. God damn it. Okay. But it seems like it's not very, it's not very surprising. Okay, but after he throws you, he's sort of stunned laughing to himself. So I think it's better to be thrown out of something... Then did you see? Look, it stuns him for a second. He just like stops, which is very weird. Is this the first floor? I'd say that this is more of the basement floor, right? But whatever. I'll just hide down here. I'll hide down here. It's okay. Don't. Why you gotta kick the music back up, man? I think he's upstairs. Okay. Oh god, I was like, he's behind me. Okay, but no, he's not. Good, 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 good. And don't know where the hell I am. But hopefully this is the floor. No? No, maybe I need something to use this? Oh god. For some reason I saw him right there. I don't know why. This room? Where's the first floor corridor? That's a court. Did I grab the key when I respawned? No, I'm pretty sure I did. It's right there! Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the only place it could be. It even has a... Maybe I need something to use this. What, how do I use thing? Use. I had to go into my inventory to use it. Are you serious? That's kind of annoying. That's a little bit annoying. Why wouldn't you lock that behind you? That's okay. We're good. We're in now. Okay, that's another knife. I don't need that. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe that I had to click in my inventory. Oh, that's a big knife. I would use that to defend myself. Okay, I need to the oven door is stuck, but there are holes to hook up some handle. Okay, well, first I need a handle. That would be nice. Come on, start opening things. I gotta search. I gotta search. Oh, what is this? On vacation in Rome, summer 1964. Well, that's very beautiful. But where can I find a handle? Bottle? Throwable? Anything in here? nothing all. Nothing? Nothing. Ooh, another door. It, oh, where is this one to? Sounds like he's right out there. I don't know if I want to take that. A clock. I remember something about a clock. Find the missing pendulum key. Okay, that's in the bathtub upstairs. Okay. Where are the saves is what I need to figure out. Yeah, yeah, you have a lovely voice, sir. I love it. It's really beautiful. Makes me want to come to you so you can serenade me, but somehow I'm resisting. Oh, man, I don't know how. Oh, what is this? What is this? That actually, that's a throwable that looked like it was important. Oh, wait, this, that's the save area. Oh, my gosh, finally. Oh, jeez. Took me years to find the save area. Anything in here? No? No. Okay. Oh, my. Yeah, you look gorgeous, honey. You look beautiful. Oh, yeah. That's what I wanted to see. Good job. Okay. Well, is this open? Oh, so this leads. 
So these all lead back to areas that I've already been in. Okay, I am gonna end this one here. I did not expect this game to be like this. I'm actually really enjoying it, and I hope you are too. Th this style of game actually really entertains me where you have to like avoid someone, go all throughout places, try and figure out puzzle after puzzle after puzzle while avoiding someone. I didn't expect this type of game. <laughs> But I'm really glad. Thank you for suggesting it. And I hope you're all enjoying. If you are, leave a like. Let me know if you're enjoying in the comments. Uh, we Something about a like goal, blah, blah, blah. If we get a certain amount of likes, I'll continue. I won't say how many. Ooh, it's a secret. I'm really good at being a YouTuber. <laughs> but thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you have not. And comment. And I will respond. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Oh, uh, good. Bye! My name is Jerry Joe. Thank you, dude. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. It's all moldy!